Hello, this is Bushcraft Canuck. Tonight I'm just pulling off a quick video here because I received a package in the mail. Just got this this afternoon. I have not opened it yet, but it comes from Peter Kohler and Dave Raffensperger. And so I'm going to open this in front of you tonight. We've got in here, I believe, two dark timber knives and the leather sheaths that accompany them. So here we go, an unboxing video of a different sort. I've seen pictures of this. Uh, you've seen them on Meeting of the Prepared Minds Facebook page. Dave has sent me some pictures. Peter has sent me some pictures. And so I have been anticipating this for some time now. This is like Christmas. A big bag of air. And one package. Two more packages. And one big heavy package. And a couple more bags of air. Okay. So From the weight of them, I would say these two packages are the knives. And they're wrapped up. Here we go. Okay, guys. Alright, this is the Dark Timber Grizzly. That's some fine work there. Oh my goodness. Oh, sorry. I should be showing you guys. All right, so here is, let's back it up, get in frame. Here is the Dark Timber Grizzly in the leather sheath. The knife, of course, by Peter Kohler and Dave Raffensperger made the sheath here. So you've got it functions as a dangler or you could just do a belt loop here if you're going to do a belt loop might as well do the dangler it uh, functions in Baldrick style with these two D-rings here it's got another D-ring here at the bottom so if you wanted to while you had it in, uh, carrying on your belt you could lash it to your leg it's got the ferro rod holder here, and I specified that I wanted it for half inch ferro rod. I have a couple of Rick, Lin Rick Lindsay's ferro rod that I want to use. And then this pops open, and you've got your Altoids tin in there. So you can put whatever little kit you want in there that just fits like a glove. Okay. Now, I'm going to pull this out, but you look at here, this is really cool. See if you can see that. See this little thumb piece, raised thumb piece here? That's to help getting the knife out. And it's a Kydex hybrid holder. So here we go. You're getting the first look at this before I even look at it. I'm looking at it. Okay. Wow. Let me put this sheath down for a second. Look at that. There's the dark timber symbol. And this is a grizzly. It's got it's got a recurve. I love recurves. It's got a recurve here, so I don't slice my finger. And uh, it's got a thick, thick spine. Look at the spine of that. I believe that's. Can you see that? Quarter inch spine. I believe this is an old walnut handle. It's 
got scallops both sides here and I had them do it in a satin finish and I know the mirror finish is all sorts of popular but this is going to be a working blade and I was just concerned that that mirror finish just would last as long as a as the first time I used it and then that would be the end of it that is sweet all right uh, let me just sit back down and look at this it's got a lanyard hole here and a lanyard hole in the blade so you can lash this to here for good grip for when you're chopping that's a that's a nice comfortable handle and you choke back it's got this edge end here for better purchase when you're swinging it near the back it's not going to you got lots to hang on to not going to slip through your hand all right so that's the dark timber grizzly in a most excellent sheath it's got a now this is just initial looks opening Boy, that's got a... I think the rings are rattling, but... That blade's not going anywhere. Alright, let's try this again here. See up here. Nice, solid. That is a hefty, hefty blade. Beautiful. <laughs> I have been waiting a while for this. I'm sorry, BK9, but you've been replaced. All right, there's another one. Oops, sorry guys. Here we go. What this is, is this is, you got a dangler sheath. By the way, this knife is a poco in a dangler sheath. The sheath can be worn um, belt carry. It's got a half inch ferro rod holder, again, for one of Rick Lindsay's ferro rods. And this is designed to be carried scout as well or actually carried um, sort of a, a 30 degree scout. I'll have to strap that on at some point and check all that out. So now this one doesn't have the kydex because it, the knife is so deep in there. It's not going anywhere. Look at that. You've got curly birch handles here. And you got a Puko style blade. And that's a that's a thinner thinner stock too. See? Let's see if I can get it to focus. I don't know if that's focusing for you or not. So this is Peter's new Puko style knife. 
and this is just some excellent leather work by Dave. That's, uh, that is pretty. And so, I mean, it sits in there. It sits deep in there. All right, so that's just the initial view, initial, well, box opening and first looks of those two knives. And there's two other packages here. And what I, what I got was a strap for, they made a strap for the Baldrick carry. So here's the Grizzly. So there's the strap on the two D-rings of the knife and enable me to carry that over my shoulder. So I'll have to figure that out. And the last item here is, I think this is called the, I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce it right, Hassan, the Hassan ferrule rod holder that Dave makes named after the guy who came up with the idea. So this is going to hold a half inch ferrule rod and that will enable me to snap it onto my pack and have it on the other side. That's nice too. So all in all, all in all we've got a real nice package here tonight. It was a very good mail day. Got the Dark Timber Grizzly, the Dark Timber Puko, and the Ferro Rod holder. And um, I'll be doing some testing and some using of these knives probably uh, coming up this weekend be heading out to the woods again and uh, we will probably have uh, another video after some use so I'm just going to adjust the camera and get a different view of this Okay, so that's just been a, a quick unboxing video of the Dark Timber Grizzly and the Dark Timber Puko that I received just today. I thought I'd open it on video with you, you here today and um, I'm pretty excited and I'm very very happy with this package. These are some lovely knives and some lovely sheaths and it's just just terrific so thank you for joining me and uh, we will see you on the next video bye